Questions and answers is postponed until later. Sorry about that. Here's a regular episode for the time being. If you don't like it, you can take it out on my little butt with your wiener or fingers. I shouldn't have said that. Get off. Get off. Billy King. Why do you guys do that? The Billy King. This is fun. The Billy King. Billy King. You guys are honestly. The Billy King. Me and Chris had a really gay moment the other day. I am a woman. I can't hit that note. She's just a girl who plays like I am a woman. And the king is my son. Okay. One, two, three. Ah. Uh, Billy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One. You're faggot, Chris. No. Okay. One, two, three. The Billy Jeanish, you're my lover. Sleeps it. I am the one. Fucking right there. What does he even say in that part? Is it says but that or claims that? Claims that. Claims that. Hi. <laughs> And you have to ah, laugh and you go, ah, oh, Except he doesn't do a ah, vibrato, right? I can do a vibrato with the less kids, oh. Never heard that one before. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mr. Christopher. I, uh, I played Dark Souls. Nah, he got you there, Santa, man. Fuck you, Santa. Really? <laughs> fuck with you. With the Michael Jackson molester Look, joke? He died five years ago. I am, I am fresh to the game, my friend. It's on, on, on trampled snow here. Really well, it's recording, anyway. Oh shit. There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome to Sleepy Cast! I'm Niall and I'm here with Stamper TV. Hi! Zach Hadel, also known as Psychic Pebbles. Well, hello there. Ha ha, hey. Ha. And, I didn't see you there. And, and, and Chris That's O'Neil. a good one. Hi! That's what? a little joke for you video gamers. It's a little <laughs> thing called Mario Brothers. Wait, what? You were, you were doing the Mario Brothers thing. Oh, I was. I was doing the uh, Navi. I don't think so. Okay. Anyways. Off to a great start to a horrible podcast. Let's delete well, all that. Yeah. I don't like being the introductor, introductee. Let's delete everything with Nile. Keep the rest. Now, did you make coffee? I sure how did. How many, how many scoops did you use in the coffee? A good amount. How many? No, I no, I I I use about the. Stamper uses way too much. You how how use, much? How you much? use a bit more than I usually use, but how you much? don't use near as much as Stamper uses. How but Stamper you? likes strong coffee. You know, I just took I a sip of this coffee. You know, is it, this hot water now? Have you guys talked about coffee I, on the that, podcast? I, I, I don't think hot water. This, is I that. took the pre-existing coffee and poured new coffee into it. Now, have you? I don't use too much coffee. He uses enough. Your coffee is strong. I don't know if it was. I, I don't know if it was just the one time. My I coffee it. might be a little bit strong, but I follow no, the directions. Stamper. When, the, when it's ten cups of coffee, I use ten tablespoons. Yeah. They might be heaping tablespoons, but I still Stamper. follow the rules. No, Stamper, you don't Nile. understand. You know, it, it's not the amount of t- spoons of coffee you put in that makes the more coffee. It's the amount of water that's put in that dictates the amount of coffee being made. Let me made. tell you how, how you, you showed me how you make coffee. You said, yeah, you see what I do? I just put a, a grounds in the filter and I make it a little mountain. And that has nothing to do with the wa- amount of water you put in there. No, that, the, the, the amount does. of coffee ground you put in is how strong it is. Yeah, exactly. That's you put saying. You put little baby sprinkles in. No, I do not. Stamper takes a big mighty fist and grabs no, the no, coffee no, and puts no, it in no. and cooks it and I take a Your sip and I go, Your coffee when I pour it into my cup looks like my pee in the morning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that like, weak I, well, look, and clear. It's Stamper. transparent. Okay. I can see the bottom of the cup. That is not Zach, good coffee. But Zach, I can see I've, the I've seen the remainings of the filters of your coffee and Stamper's coffee. Yours That's, is much, 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 much less than Stamper's. I'm not... Stamper's taste, tastes really good. I like Stamper's but I'm just thinking it's a little bit unnecessary to have that much coffee in it. I would rather drink Really good coffee for a month than, than average coffee for two months. I know, but then you'll, you'll yeah, but it'll last I'd rather week. wake up in the morning. I don't want to drink hot water. The, I took a sip and I said, Well, I like to look in. I said, Did I pour hot water in here? No, it's just Niles Coffee. No, look, copyright 2014. Copyright, copyright. Uh, I'm leaving. 
No, but okay. Once I was emptying the filter of the coffee, right? Yes. I saw, I saw the, I saw the like wet filter, and there was like, imagine this. Was it heavy? It, 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 yeah, it was actually heavy. That's it was, good coffee. No, no, no. Yeah, you see those commercials? It say, was over. It's heavy. Okay, you know, it's okay. good. Did you ever see those? You know, fucking standard. You know, standard coffee filters, right? Yes. Stamper's coffee was like higher than the top of the f- coffee filter. Bullshit. You're yeah, exaggerating. Bullshit. I swear to God, one time it was. The one time I saw it, it was. All right, first of all, coffee filters are fairly big. Why were they making that big if you can't put that much coffee grounds inside yeah, of it? They so it can also, little, I make, it's like a reservoir for the water. I make pots of coffee for 10 cups, man. Yeah, yeah but you know what he does the amount of coffee, 10 cups, the he amount of drinks coffee, them. The amount of coffee you put in the filter does not dictate the amount of cups made. It's the amount of water. <laughs> it's a standard amount. It's a set amount of water you put in. How many people think that me and Zach's coffee is good? Raise your hand. Do you think they ever okay, tasted it? How many people think Nile's coffee is shitty? Raise your hand. They never tasted it. All right, all right, yeah. all right this is just ganging up. That's right. This is just ganging up. But Oh, fuck you, Chris. When, when you guys drink coffee, do you actually feel the difference? Yes, I wake, I, I, I wake up I say, I need my coffee, and I go drink my coffee. And I it's more so like desensitized to coffee. It doesn't even really work. Anymore. No, but, Stamper, listen but, to this. It's more have like you ever not had coffee. Yeah, that's then, what I was gonna say. It's it brings the other you side. It yeah. makes you normal now. It makes you normal now, like heroin. You know, at first you're like, whoa, it's great, and then yeah. and then you need it to stay normal. It's kind of yeah. like that. How often do you shoot up heroin? Let's <laughs> yeah, not discuss that. On this no, book. but I don't drink coffee often. But it doesn't. I never feel any different when I drink it. That's the thing. See, like it's it's like I need it. In, I I don't need it, but I like it in the morning. Yeah. And then when I get it. I'm good to go, but then at the same time, I could drink like 15 cups and not have a problem. I don't mean to sound uh, like uh, it's. I I think it's kind of a placebo in the sense where it's like it's hot. It's like uh, when I get my coffee, I'm going to wake up. It's kind of like a thing. It's yeah, like, okay. a ritual. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, ritual. Exactly. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna. So it's like a little shower. Exactly. I was gonna say it's like a hot shower for your mouth. I don't mean to go. sound like one of those like <laughs> coffee twats. Yeah, I mean, like I, I, I you coffee twat. I don't want to sound like a coffee twat, but I kind of need it to like function normally instead of like. Being a zombie for the rest of the day. That's fine. I feel it's like, like a zombie all day, every day. Drink yeah. coffee. Drink coffee, my friend. I do, but it doesn't do anything. That's what I'm saying. That's because you don't have that often. Plus, you drink that pussy shit with iced coffee. What's the difference? That's just sugar. Then you break down. It's in the nothing. That's just sugar. Yeah. Why is drink, it drink a hot coffee? cup. Drink a hot coffee with. Why is it called ice there, is, there is coffee. It's coffee with ice and it's sugar. So it's so little it's, coffee though. It's something girls drink to think they're actually drinking coffee. I love iced coffee. It's something girls drink. It is. Ice coffee is not for men. Drink. Ice coffee is. Well, yeah. Well, like I do feel gay going into Starbucks and asking for an iced caramel. I drink iced coffee. Did you ever go? Ice coffee is fine, but it's not. It's not good enough to wake up. It's not coffee. There's more cream and like fucking ice and water there than there's coffee. Okay. Would you want coffee with your iced coffee? You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> turbo ice coffee. Stamper. Turbo, turbo and Enough Dunkin', Dunkin oh, yeah. Donuts. Corey gets the, the turbo all the time. Um, do you ever kind of feel a little bit gay going into Starbucks and asking for a turbo? Or no, not turbo, sorry. Uh, ice caramel macchiato or something like that. Does that kind of make it a little bit like... <laughs> no, I used to get that every day. Yeah, we used to get... We, you, ever, you ever feel gay when you No, because it's delicious. You ever, you ever it's feel, so delicious. You know what Starbucks has? is They got that uh, vanilla latte. And the vanilla latte is very delicious. Yeah, I, I, I have, I have, I have one more. All coffee is garbage. Though. I have one more thing to write up now. Have you ever feel gay when you deep in a dick and look some guy in the eyes when it comes out of your throat? You know what I mean? <laughs> this this ended fast. You killed Damn. me. <laughs> That's it from sleep. I did not think that would end that fast. Damn. <laughs> oh, dude. It's relatable though. Everyone deep throats cocks. Did we talk about uh, Chris doing his fake blowjob in the air? Chris does this thing to piss us off where he looks you right in the eyes and does a fake, like, it, uh, violent deep throat gagging. It's, Chris, it's, do it to Stampers. Stampers are oh, I, I, no, I don't I, want to do it. I, My I, hair is really long and it'll actually look like a girl. Chris, I know. I know. It, it, no. it, like, your, his hair, like, flows back and forth when he does it. I don't want to do it. I want to see Chris blow an invisible <laughs> man. But it's the way he does it. I don't know. It, it's he's like, so, he's way too into it. It's I'll like, practice. you know when people kind of, like, put their thing and they do a fake blowjob like that? Well, the way Chris does it, it's like there's an actual solid dick there, so he stops at a certain point and he keeps going back and forth and he and looks you he looks right in the eyes he looks you right in the eyes and it makes you want to hit him in the jaw more than anything else he does yeah but, and he gags at the right time too like when he goes out that's when he starts okay gagging. stop stop yeah the only reason i do that do is it zach emulate it i'm not chris can do it i'm not re- good at it emulate it you chris show it's just like oh, no on. no look stiff in the eyes while you do it i'd be like <laughs> <laughs> no. no what is your fascination with chris look 
The only like, reason I do it. Imaginary blood I woke count. up and Chris was holding me down, doing that to my face, and I screamed and pushed him off of me. I wasn't doing it to your face. I was traumatized. It was your wiener. At PTSD. But, but no, the only reason I do that is because once I was dating a girl, and she got really Wait. pissed off because I asked her to do it for me, and it made her so angry. What, look you in the eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Either, is, that, is, that, is, that a, is that trouble for girls to look you in the eyes? She was just like, I'm not a porn star. Oh man, that happened to me. I actually, like, I, I, was I, like, I don't want to sound like a fucking, like, asshole, but like, I slapped her in the face with my dick. <laughs> And she got so mad. Okay, that that I slapped I, her. In my I kind of get She got so mad. I, know, I fucking I hit her in the, f- in the, the face moment. with my fist. And she it wasn't hard. It was, just, it was just like I socked her in the eye. And she went to the floor. Just, just a little. It's not innocent. That's you can't, annoying. You can't innocent. Like, yeah, it's just annoying. Imagine. It's funny though. Imagine I don't understand how you like, get upset though. You're already blowing somebody. Yeah, so yeah. if you take it one it's step further, it's annoying. It's it's like it's like when you're a little kid and your sister, you know. T- touches your face, so when you touch your face with your dick, it's one of those annoying things kids do. Wait, wait. But it's like one of those pornos <laughs> where a girl's eating a dude's butthole out and he farts and she laughs. <laughs> oh, you and seen she's that like, too? This has, I'm quitting this industry is the most disgusting yeah. thing. Oh man, but I saw that. Dude's butthole yeah, everyone, seen... everyone can relate to that though, because like when, like I, I could fart. Okay, I've actually never farted during sex, right? But if a girl queefed during sex, I would get mad. Even though if I farted they during do. sex, I would probably laugh. Most girls that do queef all the time. Yeah. Though. I know. Girls always no, queef during sex. I don't get mad unless they laugh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Me and Chris talked about this before. We, what? Like, yeah, you you mentioned that before. What is it's, that? It's 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 cute. If if they laugh, it's like, oh, you think something's funny? <laughs> it's no. like a guy farting. It's, going, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's the weirdest balance. It's like if they queef and they get really embarrassed, and you laugh. But if they queef and they laugh, and you get really mad. Hey, no, because you're like, oh god, <laughs> you fucking. Dick. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you, it's you just queefed on my dick. You like why? <laughs> that is so weird. You guys had a discussion about. It's it's cute yeah. though. If she, she's like, oh, and she blushes. She's like, like, oh, yeah, like yeah, she's, she's like, her pussy, and she's like, oh god, it's like the funniest shit ever. But the second she's like, <laughs> then you're like, stop. Yeah, the second she's, uh, you know, shooting out queef pellets is a problem. Queef pellets? Yeah, you ever see a queef pellet? Wait, no. what? It's, it's like a little pearl. It's like a clam when you come inside a girl. Wait, so she's actually like a, hard, a, a after coughing hundred years. Or some shit. Yes, it coughs out a little. How uh, much is it worth? Little pearls. Well, probably not very much, but you can you can collect them if you'd like to. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Man, Zach, you are killing this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Zach, you're wearing a pearl necklace right now. It's a sperm necklace. <laughs> it's Jesus. sperm. It is a it sperm. It is a sperm hardened, necklace. Hardened queef pellets necklace. <laughs> Stamper, if there was such a thing as queef pellets, would you would you grab one? Would you touch one? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you would? Right. You would? Just touch one? It would feel yeah, like, like, if I was, like touch that. Well, it would feel like material? a fish egg. A fish egg. No, like, it's not, no, it's hard. It's hard. Chris, it's like it, a little rod. It's like a it's like a pebble in your shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where you fuck. It's like girl. a kidney stone. Chris, would it be like a bubble? Yeah, yeah, like exactly. It's a kidney stone, but they queef them out. I thought I would imagine it would be kind of like a bubble. No, if you think of a girl saved up enough of those, she could just shoot it at you at will, like a BB gun, like get stuck on your or skin. You, or like you know, you know when uh, you're a kid and you have those like bubble things you blow. She puts one of those up there, and then like a big bubble comes out. That's nasty. I know for a fact you all remember this. What was it like the first time you farted in water and you saw bubbles come out? I don't remember that. I don't remember the first time. I, I do it in the bathtub still as an adult. If I don't ever take baths, I do a big fart and I laugh every time. <laughs> yeah, once I walked in, I was like, I didn't know we had a hot tub. And Zach's like, we don't. <laughs> and I was farting in the... I, know, that, 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 <laughs> you. that joke is so overdone. Yeah, <laughs> Niall. That was in Lion King 2. Was it really? Yeah. Was okay, it Pumba? Yeah, Pumba. Niall, Pumba, was okay. Pumba. He, when Pumba left the hot tub. Not only, not only do you know that was already a joke, but you knew it was a joke from Lion King too. I don't, I don't remember Lion King two at all. Pie, dude. Yeah, well, that, that song is good. There was a one he good song in it. In you. Yeah, that's the only reason that movie was anywhere to be yeah. seen. There was a good song in it. What about two and a half? Or it was just Timon and Pumbaa? Oh, yeah. They were in the movie. Was that three? Huh? Was that three? No, it was, it was called Two and a Half. That's stupid. Yeah. The cool of Matata. Yeah, they just didn't want to make three. Because they wanted to save it, like, I think, for a trilogy. Samper looks like Tony Soprano. Hmm? Yeah. You're doing a weird thing. Are you, like, <laughs> meditating? I'm fucking drunk right now. I am so <laughs> fucking wasted. You have, like, a zillion lines in your head. I'm wasted and tired, but I'm going to stick it through this podcast and try to make poignant responses. Okay, to- here's, a, here's a good thing we could talk about, because we're all going through it right now. Uh, moving house. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. moving. We're all, we're all going our separate ways. To step back, we all live together in a... Big house, me, Zach, Chris, Chad, Corey, a bunch of people. Nile. Nile. <laughs> <laughs> In one house, and they are now selling that house, which if you're renting a place, you're going to have to understand that that's, that's a that potential consequence. She's yeah. like, get out, so everyone has to leave now. Yeah. 
so we all had to leave and we kind of split ways there and um, we're still in the process we're still in the process of doing that right now and this will be history soon but that's what we're doing right now <laughs> at this second so if you're listening and you're moving we understand your pain do you remember that time we went to set up the electricity for the house and uh, we were standing, oh no, it was the office, and we were standing in the queue, and it was cramped full of people, and I was standing in front of a lady, and she was like, excuse me, sir, can you get your butt out of my face? And excuse me, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. And you turn around, and you're like, yeah, and she's like, could you get your butt out my face? <laughs> Wait, what? Was she oh, really so she short? was sitting down. She was sitting down, and my ass was like five feet away from her, and she was like, get out of my face! And I was like, okay, sorry. We had no choice, we were standing in line. We, standing we were in crammed line. in a room that was... Full of people. Yeah, why didn't she fucking move? Because she was sitting was down a on a fucking bum. disaster. We had to go down to the city to get the power turned on at the office here. Yeah, and this is this crammed, fucking disgusting fucking lobby. Do you remember? Look, there was like a million angry people sitting there all at once. It was super hot. And then uh, when the person was like, "Okay, all you normal people stay here, and anyone who's setting up a business electricity, come with me." And they all looked at us, and everyone looked so angry. She was people. like, "So who's set? Who's setting up an office? Uh, who's setting up an office account?" right now and then we were the only people that raised our hands yeah. and she was like okay you come with, you come with me and then so she you look brought back. us to like fucking Willy Wonka's chocolate <laughs> land where everything was perfect and beautiful and nice those people look so mad dude there was like there was nobody in the other room that we went to it's like they brought us down to this men in black place where <laughs> they set up our business account it was great and then they flashed us in the eyes with that little clicker thingy and they were like you how, do you, how do you remember mistake, how do you fuck do you remember because i get bills every month nile <laughs> loopholes bitch. oh yeah oh yeah wait but yeah. wait where are we gonna have to do that when we move house yeah that's the thing when you move like all right so when you move into a new place you have to pay more often than not First, last, and security deposit. deposit. deposit yeah. oh, Let's say you move into a humble place that costs like a thousand dollars. That's not really humble, but we live on the East Coast, not the Midwest, where everything costs fucking up five dollars a month and one apple. But so <laughs> over here, like more often than not, you're gonna pay around two grand if you're fucking lucky and live in squalor, or three to five grand if you're gonna live in some. And the biggest problem is too, even if you live alone, it's still what a thousand bucks a month for some shitty cramped apartment. Yeah, so I lived alone and I paid a thousand dollars a month, almost a thousand dollars a month. But then I had to triple that up, and then I still have to worry about fucking utilities. Yeah, I still have to worry about fucking utilities. What are the worst parts of my words? What are the worst parts of movie is you have to get your fucking address changed on. Everything. You have, oh, my Amazon account. What? Well, every your bill. Every, everything has to be changed. It's such That's a the hassle. fucking thing. I wanted to change my address in the bank, and they said I need proof of address. And I'm like, this, this, this is my proof of address. Like, I need, I need to get bank statements to get a proof of address. So yeah. your mailing address, though, just go online and change it. Say, I, this here's my name. I used to live here, and now I live here. And you're, you'll you can do it online. Why did, why, why didn't they let me do it in the bank? Yeah, but, you know, you, you still have to go online. Or it'd still be wise to go online and change your addresses. Uh, and... It's all boring shit anyway. I'd... It's very boring. Yeah. <laughs> Moving sucks. Yeah, it does. This is my first actual real taste of being an adult. We have to move, we have to kill ourselves. There's tons of flies in this office. It's driving me <laughs> fucking nuts. And there was a cloud of flies just following me all the way home, and I thought they were landing in my ear and laying eggs and shit. <laughs> it was really bothering me. Did I tell you what happened to that? a lady my mom knew? No. What? Um, she went to the doctor, she was like, my ear's itchy, and then they stuck in tweezers and pulled out a big, long spider. That's disgusting. Oh my god! A spider? A little baby spider crawled into her ear and ate her earwax, and it got too big to crawl out, so they had to pull it out. You can't get nutrients from earwax, I tried. Spiders can. How did she figure out there was a spider in her She was ear? like, oh, my ear itches. My ear itches! Oh my god, you that's You ever see one of those videos where they pull out, like, a big, like, a long, like, grasshopper-length thing out of somebody's ear, like oh, a big no. cicada or something? <laughs> no. Like, how do you not notice that's in your ear? Your eardrum is only like half an inch in. Yeah, if you if you scratch the inner ear, you're gonna feel a huge fucking like antler or something. Like, do you never touch your face? Like, do earwigs actually go inside things. your ears? I clean my ears every day. Me too. Every time I get out of the shower, I that's, put a little Q-tip in there. That's one thing I barely ever do. <laughs> that's one thing I rarely do is clean my ears. Really? That's you never clean your ass either. Gross. Yeah, I clean it like maybe once a month. You need to clean your ears, Nile. Pop filters are gross. You ever seen a fucking alien before? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did it come from? Did you? What's that? Did you see an alien? Yeah, I saw one uh, yesterday. Just oh, walking around an alien backyard. or an alien? An alien, which is much scarier than an alien, by the way. You don't, you don't want to fuck with an alien. Way scarier. I saw an alien. I laughed and you smacked him in the face. You do not want to see an alien. 
Aliens are in movies constantly. Aliens. Aliens. You don't, stand for you want to tell, talk about your alien experience? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I don't I trust you guys enough. Okay. Step I, I trust you with my alien story. Right. Wait, wait. What is an alien? <laughs> well, Chris, an alien. You know, it's got those big black eyes, those big, big cute lips that you kiss every night. Big black uh, eyes. It's got those big skinny. Uh, wait, they don't got big lips. They got literally no lips. Yeah, I said, I said cute lips. Oh, uh, like cute slit. lips. They have, they sometimes they stick their tongues out and giggle, but <laughs> that's that's an alien. Okay. Yeah. Aliens. Aliens. Instead of them actually abducting you, they walk in your room and go. And then leave. And you wake up and you can swear to God there was an open window, but it's just an alien bothering you. It's horrifying. And th th does he crawl out the window instead of like? He going basic, in basically, the alien is just like trying. It's it's a sound effect comedian. Like he just tries to impersonate sounds. Like he's like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, a door's open. No, it's just an alien. It's just the door opening though. <laughs> they flew to our planet from yeah. millions of light years to to do the yeah. We're their test audience to see if we're good enough for stage and if their act is good enough. So they just walk around. For real places aliens. And, yeah, yeah, for, for the real aliens, but the aliens, they think, oh, aliens are scum. Get the fuck out of here with your they door come noises. Down here, they test shit out. That would actually explain a lot of shit that goes on at nighttime. Yeah. What? You hear some footsteps? It's just an alien stopping his feet. Yeah, you go downstairs, your Xbox games, your discs are sitting out of the cases and they got fingerprints on them. Aliens. Yeah. They have aliens. fingers? Huh? So, yeah. They have fingers? Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't they? Well, they have their fingerprints. Yeah. How else are they going to grab people? Well, humans people? have fingerprints, but they I don't know. They look like little crop circles. Damn it. It'll be funny yeah. if an alien had pubes and instead of getting like a Brazilian, he shaved it in like a little crop circle. He was like, do, 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 do. So he's in your room naked, but he has pubes still. Yeah. And he has like, no, he has no shame. Have you ever seen alien That's the easiest before? way to make scary aliens funny is just give them pubes. Have you ever seen an alien smile before? before? So at first you're afraid and then you look down and it's just the most hilarious. He's pubes. <laughs> what can't you make funny with pubes? Uh, and then you wonder why he's like trimming them and making shapes if he has like alien barbers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like he's bald, he has no hair on the top aliens of his head. Aliens are stupid that they look like, lanky and like disinterested and then they, they add pubes and that's the funniest image. Dude, that, the funniest picture ever is that picture of the fucking stupid broken looking alien shaking hands with Hitler and Hitler looks disgusted. He's like, <laughs> Yo, he's alien, recoiling backwards. The alien's eyes are like, yeah, I'm yeah, watching you. Yeah, they're like squinting, he has a stupid broken <laughs> arm and it just so, it's so stupid looking. <laughs> oh god, aliens are great. I, I'm feeling they're becoming the new skeletons, though. Oh, they are. They're, they're totally becoming the new skeletons. Let's step back for a second. Mm -hmm. Of course, Zack would have to bring up Hitler again in another Look podcast. it up, it's funny, it's you know, funny! Do you know what Zack said completely picture. unironically earlier today? He said, you know what, we, we should bring the goose step back. Yeah. I know, what I said was, I miss goose stepping. Yeah, but you never well, goose stepped. Why did it have to? goose stepping, implying yeah. that you goose stepped before. I don't before. goose step. What but, is goose stepping? Oh, it's, it's the, the way that- Chris, show, 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 show me goose step. Oh, oh, the, so this is a podcast, so people can't goose see- Goose step or stamper. Like, basically, it's sticking- No, don't do the- That's Don't the do the- Don't do the- Yeah. Oh, it's like the Ministry of Silly Walks. It's a, it's a cool <laughs> walk. Imagine a million guys walking goose stepping. But it's like what Zach is doing is he's so, slowly adding more no, like I'm Nazi the, I'm ideals. Not, I'm, not, I'm not stepping. putting a frog in a turning you, a hip You slowly. kind of are. You're, you're testing the waters a little bit. You're dipping your toes in. The, the, look, uh, some countries still do it today. I'm just saying the Nazis ruined a lot of stuff that was that was cool. Like before. what? Like killing Jews. They, they kind of ruined that whole phase. <laughs> Goose stepping looks like a pain in the ass. Why would you want to walk like it's that? It's scary. Who? who it's Dude, so much. My commanding officer told me to goose step. I'd be, uh, really like. It makes really? a cool noise. Even the, exactly a million guys <laughs> goose stepping used to. Even the name though, it's like it sounds kind of like a ballet dance or something kind of fruity. A million guys going <laughs> in unison would sound amazing. Let's, 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 let's do it. Let's all do it. No, no, God damn it. Chris. On three or on yeah, three, two. Okay, three, two. Uh, wait, 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 three, two, three, two, uh, one, uh, three, two, one, uh, three, two, one, uh, what's, what's three, two, noise? one, go, uh. what's, what's the noise again? Uh. Okay, three, two, one, uh. Uh. do it again. Three, two, one, uh. see, that's uh. nice. Now imagine a million people doing that. Okay, let's, let's do you it. Just hear.
Oh, three, two, one. Talk like Zach. Three, two, one. What is Zach Hedwig? I never say my name. <laughs> I love him more. <laughs> oh, you're fucking dead. You know that? You know what? What does everybody do when everybody say, "Let me do an impression"? They always say, they always say the name of oh, what yeah. they're doing. My name is so and so. I know. I'm Bill Clinton. It's like yeah, yeah he yeah. says that all the time. You fucking <laughs> fraud. You're fraudulent. <laughs> is what you are. I'm Bill Clinton. I'm. That's not true. George Christopher Bullock. Walken. I'm wow. Arnold. Nice to see you. Stamper, <laughs> you, you, you love Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions, don't you? Oh, they're my favorite thing. What's it's, your favorite thing the, they say? The is it get to the chopper? Comedy. Do you get think to the chopper? Christopher Walken is just Christopher below Christopher Walken met Arnold. That would be hilarious. Christopher, why do you guys say Christopher, Christopher Walken? Walken. Walken. Yeah. Chris got really mad at me one time. I was Because he did like an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. <laughs> I was like... Don't do that. But it's but everybody does it unironically now. So they do it like ironically, which is now becoming the new. It, no, it's it like wasn't for, me anyway. It was Hans. Oh, it was Hans. Yeah. I was in the room going. <laughs> it is the most fucking obnoxious thing when people do Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions. Only because they always do the I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, they always do the Arnold. Oh, oh, oh. Zach, you kind of did it more realistic, like Arnold. But like the people I'm are like, Hello, I'm Arnold. He's a guy. He made movies. When he first came around, do you think people were doing impressions of him when he first came? No, you wouldn't dare. Let me tell you, the lowest person? form of comedy is impressionist comedy. No. It's easy. It's Listen, like... Listen, I don't agree. I think Christopher Walking's very funny. Arnold Schwarzenegger is very George funny. George Bush. Sylvester the Cat is very funny. You can't do George. You can't forget George Bush. George Bush. Yeah. Lowest form of comedy is... Every uh, stand-up comedian that does impressionist comedy does Christopher Walken, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, George Bush... Bill Clinton, like Ray Romano, they do, there's like five they always yeah, do. It's like they're really and they're easy. they're never jokes. It's like, hey, I'm talking like this guy. Hey. Now I'm talking like this guy. Now I'm talking like this guy. This is have a good night, everybody. And one person kind of goes like, oh yeah, this sound like him. And that's yeah, it. that does sound like him. And they never, yeah, they never make jokes while they're doing it. It's always like, it's always like, yeah, yeah the best reaction I'll ever get is, huh. Yeah, it's that's like, it. Oh, yeah, it's I like, think I don't think it's the lowest form. Of, I think uh, song parodies, uh, but like no, because really those, take, those take effort. In no, these. no, because you just go like fucking like pick any song there. Pick a song. <laughs> Who let the cat was out? Yeah, Weird Al. Like, okay, I don't like Weird Al. <laughs> mo, mo, I, I gotta get mo. That's that's a real fucking song. Is that really? That's song? really Weird Al actually awesome. has it released. <laughs> it's, it's oh god. But at least he can play instruments and sing it. No, so you cool. wrote a fucking parody song with me. Yeah, but that was oh, ironic. It was oh, ironic. It was. Oh, it's ironic. It was ironic. Maybe Weird Al thought that who let the oh, cat out was rules. <laughs> yeah, and ours was actually funny, kind of. No, it, no, no, no. I would no. give it zero out of ten. No, about a three out of ten. Zach's gone. Let's make fun of Zach. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like him. Well, my, my, my grandpa was I like in him. World War Two. Like hey guys, have you seen that new uh, that new YouTube channel? Stamper. That was with, Stamper. It's got the Civil War and Stamper. World War One. I like on World it. War. Stamper. No! <laughs> For those who couldn't see that, which is everybody, Zach was actually behind Stamper the, the entire time. Did you take time. your belt off in order to choke me? <laughs> no, I was, I was on the floor over there. I took it off earlier because I'm fat. Fuck Let's yeah. talk about something crazy. All right, Wild stop. and wacky. Niall, I'm going to count down for five, and then you say the first noun that comes off the top of your head. Okay. And then we'll have a topic on that. Yeah, but if you count to five, I'm already thinking of nouns. You have to do. I know that's the whole point. Okay. So it's it, it's it's like a random. Just just pick one. Stop on the one. You're okay, thinking. go go. So I go five, four, three, two, one, and then noun. Okay. okay. So five, four, three, two, one, down, down. <laughs> Did you just rhyme down with noun? <laughs> also. <laughs> It was my idea. Also, oh, down is not a noun. I was actually gonna, I was actually gonna say noun, but five, is, okay. is four, is that a noun? three, two, one, town. Um, that's that, what I'm talking about. Five, four, three, two, one, brown. Chris, five, four, three, two, round. four, round. Mm -hmm. Stamper, stop frowning. Stamper, I want to give you, you pick a bird, okay? Cooking. Because okay. you said herb. That's what herb came into your head, and then you said cooking. What? Yeah, you know what fucking happens, Stan. <laughs> what the hell are you Bullshit. talking about? Okay, pick an adjective that... Soccer. Soccer's shit. Hate I soccer. I played soccer when I was a baby. My dad used to take Soccer's me Soccer's a fucking day. adjective. I hate soccer, dude. I don't like do, it. Do you, do you mean like... Giant would be an adjective. Soccer like is the main reason I hate going to bars, because every time I go to a bar, it's oh, fucking try going, soccer. Try going to one in Ireland, it's fucking atrocious. I, I don't I get doubt the, it. I honestly don't get the appeal of it. You ever played soccer before? Yeah. 
It's the least fun of any sport. I was on the orange team. <laughs> really? Did you play a lot of sports when you were a kid, Stamper? Were you like a football, baseball? You know what's weird? I played I played football recreationally with my friends, and we always had a good time, but every time it came to playing football in class, I would bomb hard, and I would be the biggest douchebag on the team, and everyone would hate me. That's what they think. It's like you like something, and the second you have to do it seriously, you start to hate it. I, I tried saw it as a game exactly, outside that's what of it is. school, but then inside of school, I saw it as If you like do it in school, when you start fucking up, everyone's like, Come on! And yeah, you're like, fuck This up. is a fucking game. I know, game. I was playing goalie in a hockey game once, and I kept missing. Like, people kept scoring on me, and this kid came up to me, and he called me worthless and said that I was the most... He just like really laid into me, and you I, really I, 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 sad to about this it. day, I, <laughs> to this day, I haven't forgotten that. Like no, he was really disappointed. Oh, you know, fucking twelve ish. How old was he? But then, like after that, I'd go out and play hockey with my friends, and we'd be okay. It was fun. We didn't give a shit. Yeah, no, no, yeah, exactly. It wasn't a fucking social experiment. School is a social experiment. That's all it is. Yeah, all it is is just you're like forced to interact yeah. with people that. You maybe would want to be your friend, but... The people in school that you're friends with are just people that you hate the least. Like, that you have, that you have like, slight stuff in common with. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, oh, I kind of... Everybody else I you have kinda... nothing in common with. Well, they occasionally you find a few kind of good ones. I disagree. Yeah, occasionally you'll find some One of my very best friends, I have, like, almost nothing in common with Jack. Jack? The only thing I have in common with him is he like movies, and he's like the coolest guy ever. But if you met Jack and you didn't go to school with him, would you think you'd like him? I didn't go to school with him. You ever think that maybe Jack, Jack has a million best friends? I know how they met. met Probably. A swimming club in there. Yeah, we were swimming. And they both, and Chris needed I said something swimming about, shorts. And I said Jack. something about a, a candy bar and he thought it was funny. Then he was and like, then, I like you. And they became friends. What if you met him today, completely didn't know him? No, he's still, everyone who meets Jack yeah. likes Jack. Oh, I love Actually, Jack. Actually, when I first met Jack, I was I was really tired, and Jack is so like energetic and loud yeah. that I was like, oh god, come on, man. And then like literally, like the day later, I was like, I fucking love Jack. He's, <laughs> he's, like, he's an energetic spaz. Yeah, he's, he's so fucking energetic. Sport. He's the yeah. co-creator of a out. random day. We could call, call out. Oh yeah, fun fact. He also um he did some puppet shit for Sleepy Cat. Remember? Oh, did he? Did was he? he in the Cool Show? Yep. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I tried bandwagoning with that shit when I was a kid, uh, but... I, I, played, I played pretty much every sport when I was a young I think student. I realized pretty quickly I'm not a fucking athlete. Oh, I played every sport. Name a sport, but don't, not a fucking insanely obscure sport. What do you think I did boxing, I did soccer, I did Irish sport, hurling, Gaelic, rugby. I, I tried everything. I was like, maybe I'm a rugby player. And then I was like, no. And then I was like, soccer player? No. Boxer? No. <laughs> like, everything, yeah. Just not, a, not you, ever, you ever do spring flipping? Yeah, what? yeah, not for me. Really? What the hell is yeah. spring flipping? It's where you take a spring and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever see cheese rolling? Cheese rolling? Oh, yeah. That's the funniest shit. <laughs> and people are like, whoa, come on! <laughs> yeah. what is All you do is you go to the top of a big slippery hill when it's raining, <laughs> you throw cheese, and you fucking run down the hill after the cheese. You fucking roll all the way down. It's the yeah, you roll down the hill. It is the funniest after shit After the ever. cheese and Look up the video. That is so fucking creepy and barbaric. The, it's, it's like, who thought of that? Like, it's like something the apes would do. No, it is. You know, I, I laughed so hard when I saw it, but, um... You gotta watch that. Is it like roll, like big barrels you of cheese? You roll a big fucking... Cheese wheel. A cheese yeah, wheel, wheel, yeah. wheel of cheese, yeah. Yeah. Down the hill. And you, you roll down after You fucking run after it as fast as you can. What happens when you grab onto it? You, <laughs> you, know, you know what the funniest part is? I think the video on YouTube is called Dangerous Sport Cheese Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> cheese roll. <laughs> do people die when they do that or something? <laughs> no, if you look at the video, there's people like landing on their necks and shit. Yeah, because you're running down fast down the hill and you're following What a worthless shit. fucking death. If you want to die, you at least want to go cool. It'd be so horrible to like, like break your neck cheese wheel or something. I always something. do wonder like why I have like... to explain that to people later. Like, that's how my grandfather died. Yeah, yeah. How'd your grandfather no, die? Like, oh, he died in 1945. Oh, like a, like a like World War Two, no, like cheese wheel. He fucking fell down and broke his neck. When it he was it must honestly, seriously, suck to die to something like incredibly stupid. Yeah. Because then, like, your whole family will just feel like. I so was thinking cheated. about that. You know, like, um, like battles in Japan. Yeah. It's how many people died by ninja stars? Like, <laughs> just, yeah, that's it's so. Like, I'm not even talking like that. That's cool compared to what I'm talking about. Not like, really. Like, like, what if, like, like blades fall, on like, a star are, like, this big, <laughs> and you die. That it it kills your brain, dude. just fuck with you. No, like, they just do like, that imagine, like, imagine if you, like, you were walking down one stair, and your leg slipped, and you broke your neck. It's like, oh, he, died. he fell up one yeah. stair. Dude, whatever. If, if, I met, if I met a guy, and he told me that his grandpa died and by Ninja Star, I'd be like, really? <laughs> Like re like the weakest weapon in video games, really? That's how your grandpa died. Somebody. I guess it depends. If you hand? hit somebody in the eye with well, eye with it or like the neck or something, but if it hit like his hand, then, like his thumb came off. 
There has to be someone out there who died from like an infected asshole, like swamp ass. There has to be. Like someone who cut, got a little cut in their asshole from like shooting too hard. You've obviously thought about this before. No, I'm like, there, there had, like, imagine if you died of something like that. You're like, someone would have to explain what to your mom, be... like, your son died from an, an infected asshole. And I've always worried that if I... They would just say that he had an infection that they didn't understand. I've always worried that I would have an erection when I died. Yeah, you, no, like, a lot of people do have erections when... I know, because other people have erections when they die. Because and I, I wake up with erections every Why day. Why do you worry about your state after you're Because dead. people be like, oh, look at that. Uh, you know, I want three medics You're like, dead, oh. so they're gonna go on Twitter and be like, yeah, we found Zach and he had a boner. Not, me, not, <laughs> not, even, not even because of who oh, I am. Just, what is your because, ghost gonna be sad? Like, shit. I don't, I don't want you to I'm walk in and be able to live this down. I'm, there's no ghost. I'm just gonna be a dead guy with an erection. Dude, if I walked in on your dead body, the last thing I'd be worried about is your boner. Your I'd eyes be... would be drawn. You'd go, the, dude, if you walked in, I'd be dead hanging myself. You saw my erection, you'd be like, guys. Zach had a big dead boner in there. <laughs> big dead boner. I'd be like, D dude, Zach's dead, plus he had a boner. <laughs> I fucking hit it and it fell down. Did you hear about the guy who fucked the swimming pool and uh, his dick? What aspect yeah. of it? What what part of it? It was he a just, jet stream. He, he fucked the swimming pool. There was a hole in the pool, like the, the jet. You can, what do you mean? The swimming pool is a body of water. What yeah. do you mean he fucked the yeah, swimming he pool? He stuck the, his he, dick in the swimming pool the, and he fucked no, it. No, you're being silly. You went to the edge of the pool where there was a hole in the wall with water getting sucked in. How could his dick fit inside of that? That's like, that's like a baby. Hole. And uh, he told the, the jet streams shoot out. They don't suck in. He told the paramedics that uh, he was like minding his own business in the pool, and the jet stream was like really strong for one moment, and it sucked him in by the dick, and it was like whoa, and his pants is, came is down. That, is that what he told the guy? I swear to God, that's what he told them. You know, there is like seven billion people in the world. Maybe that did happen to one. Well, no, maybe. If you fucking think it, it'd just be pushing water down your dick hole, just be shoving water. That was actually the first time I came. Was when I was in the swimming pool. My dad brought me to a oh, swimming pool. Oh no, God! You, you came. Yeah. You came in the swimming pool. No, no, public no. One? No, no. This is the first time I felt the sensation of like coming. Was when my dad brought me to uh, a God. public swimming pool. Is this is why I hate off? public swimming pools, dude. Uh, no, I didn't come in the in the swimming pool. Listen to me. The aliens happened? were there. What? The aliens were not <laughs> there. Dark, what did effects. happen was I got into the pool and I was swimming <laughs> around and I saw a lady who was resting her arms on the edge of the pool and she was just sitting there and I was like, what the fuck? When she left, I went over to inspect the area. There was a little jet of water coming from the wall. And I was like, whoa, what was she doing? And I did the same thing she was doing. Started blowing on my dick. Oh, right? was she doing that up her pussy? Yeah. Holy shit. And I was like, whoa. Was, whoa. Oh, and I started coming. <laughs> I, but, but I was like literally probably eight. And then my dad walked over in the pool. And he's like, what are you doing? And I was just like, I'm just swimming against the, the water. And he's like, you better not be doing what I think you're doing. What? He said that? <laughs> yeah, and he walked away. And then right after he walked away, I looked up. And there was a fucking camera looking at him. You know? I was like, ah, oh, shit. Did you take, like, without away. your dick? Chris, no, what? it was just blowing against the Why would your dad say how that? Why would he even assume that you were doing that? Because it's obviously what I was doing. <laughs> I thought you were fucking eight. I know. <laughs> he was probably smiling and looking around. I was <laughs> fucking coming. I had the cum face on. <laughs> uh, and it's the first ever cum face, which is the most it was intense. My... Everyone knows that that's the most intense cum face. No, no, this is what happened, right? That happened. I, I thought I was... How a... many eight-year-olds coming do you see, though? <laughs> Everyone no, knows. It's a common but knowledge. This is what I, I, I thought I was, like, punched. It felt like I'd been punched in, like, right above my dick. That's what it initially felt like, right? So I was like, that felt interesting. Next time I watched something, I did the same thing. I did it, like, every single time. Like until eventually I was like, maybe I can just do this at home. So one night I was in the bathtub and I started like flapping my dick around between my fingers instead of like grabbing up my dick and jerking off. So like you were twirling a pencil. I, I was like pushing water towards my dick as fast as it would go, and I, I, I somehow managed to come like a million times doing that. And then eventually I was like, maybe it's better if I just jerk it off. And then, then I used to lie face down in the bathtub. Wait, so you like discovered it like a fucking ape discovered fire or whatever? I swear to God, right? Seriously? And our bathroom, you know my bathroom in Bally Kelly? Yeah. There's a fucking little window at the top of the door for some reason. Yeah. But it's, you'd, you'd have to be eight foot to look in. But yeah. I was so paranoid that if my mom and dad stuck their head over the window and looked in and saw me like playing with my dick, I would like get sent to counseling. Because when I was younger, I thought it was like you the don't most. You have a shower evil. curtain? No, no, I was in my bathtub. Yeah. But when I was younger, we were a Christian family. I thought that was the most evil thing I was doing. I honestly felt so guilty I actually every felt time. Guilty when I was doing so it I used to too. like face down and hold my breath under the water and like. Slap my dick so you risk my dying every time you masturbate. I didn't risk dying. <laughs> it's like a, a kind of form I know how to breathe, but... That is a form of autoerotic asphyxiation. Well, uh, that's not what got me off. I was just afraid my mom and dad would see me jerking off. <laughs> and that's what got me Yeah, that was what got you off. Your dad poking his head through the window and watching you. No. <laughs> and then, have you, have you on, ever... Dad, I actually, on. that's another story. I remember the day that I... I've, my mom actually, like, said... Chris, I think it's time we talk about sex. And I was like, what? And she was like, you know, it's normal to masturbate and stuff. And I was like... Oh, 
Thank God! Thank you, mom. So relieved. You just was... went off and jacked off that day. <laughs> yeah. My my Did mom you get the talk. Yeah, my mom left the book. No, I didn't get the talk because my parents were too embarrassed about it. My mom. Yeah, my my parents gave me a book. Mike, but yeah, they left the book on my bed called Boy Talk, and it was just these kids, right? And they were hanging on trees. There's and a it's girl like, magazine every, called Girl Talk. boys, fucking boys. And, and, and that's no, and every you are every how okay. So so it was just like. Hey, hey Ben, do you want to go hang out later? And and it's like, okay, Paul, I'll meet you after school. And then they're hanging out at a tree, and they're hanging on a tree. And it's like, do you ever masturbate? And then like he's like, yeah. And it's like, do you like what? What do you do? Do you like rubbing your dick? It was really fucking weird. And it's like all boys talk like this. It's like, dude, no, I don't like fucking talk to my friends about like you know fondling my pee hole and stuff. But uh, what you, you call it? Your pee hole when you jack off, <laughs> dude. I saw Portal dude, maybe six this is a new ago. way. Wait, I saw, I wait saw... this is a new way to jack off. Okay, mm. lick your hand. And rub the bell end. And that's it. Just, just rub it. Just like I figured that out when I was twelve. Everyone yeah, knows that. Yeah, everyone knows it. Yeah, why were you telling... my hand though? I spit in it. Then why were you telling me that this was some sort of weird fucking phenomenon? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, my parents didn't give me a masturbation book. They gave me a book. Um, they masturbated me. Uh, yeah, they well, well, jacked me off. Well, the book was about all of that stuff. No, my, my parents gave me a book. I, I forget what it was called, but it was essentially like this is what mommies and daddies do. Oh, so they hug each other. Yeah, and, special hug. Yeah, and that's... men have penises and women have vaginas. And all the book did was make me horny and more confused. <laughs> it didn't that, help. Yeah, that's even. also a similar story. One time when I was very, very fucking young, a guy came to my mom and dad's door with a ton of books. He was like, this is the whatever encyclopedia. If you buy these books, you will never need any other books in your life. My mom and dad got scammed and they paid like 200 pounds at the time. Oh, they did the... the oh, that's the a common encyclo scam. Encyclopedia yeah. Britannica. Yeah. I think that... that I, it, that's probably. a common scam, like an encyclopedia sales. I was very young at the time, but mom and dad were like, Chris, these books, they will like make you the smartest kid ever. Uh, and did the internet I, exist at the time? It did not. But um, I, I found one book what, that had titties in it and I, I, I literally stole it from the collection and kept it under my mattress. Once when I was eight... I printed off naked pictures of Buffy that were fake, that were obviously fake, <laughs> and I brought them into school, uh, and I gave one to my friend. And you were God. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was the fucking <laughs> king. Until I got caught. And everyone pointed their finger, and they're like, it was him. But, yeah, uh, what you call it, I, I used to be the kind of dealer, because I was the first one who kind of discovered the internet or whatever. So I was, like, dealing out all these, like, fake porn pictures. I did the same thing, but with Mortal Kombat fatalities. Wait, really? Nobody understood what the internet was. <laughs> and I was like, this is a place where you can get things. And they were like, like, what? And I was like, how about this printout, baby? Yeah, yeah. And they I, were like, oh, my God, I didn't even know you could do that. The, like, I remember, this was, like, the year 2001 or something like that. And I just, like, literally... And then I was doing the same thing with, like, fucking deep, pirated DVDs. I was a little fucking asshole back in the day. I was the first one to discover, like, torrenting or whatever. And I used to, like, sell, like, fucking fake torrent to DVDs in school. Yeah, I remember. I was, a, I was a god as well. I was one of the first people that figured out how to download music illegally, burn it to a CD, and one of my first customers was my manager at Walmart, and I overcharged him because he was an asshole. I was like, but he was still kind of cool. I used to do that too, except like my friend, they, they started giving me like, all everyone in the school started giving me lists of like 50 songs to put on one CD, and I was like, holy shit. And I still took all the money, and I was like, oh god, what do I do? And I give them like a CD. Shit, you like, got paid? And then I give them. I did it for street credit. And, th and then I give them songs with like five songs on it, and I'd be like, sorry, I couldn't get the rest. And they'd be like, oh god. <laughs> but they'd still be happy. Well, then they were still like, yeah, they get to listen to fucking gangster. Just paradise or whatever the fuck they wanted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, the, I, yeah. I don't know what the moral of that story was. I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, the Irish story, I guess. <laughs> Irish stories. Anyways, when I was like eight, I didn't understand sex. I'm glad you did. I used to walk around, and I remember when I was eight years old, I had a bathrobe, and I used to get boners all the time, and I used to. Just uh, walk around with my bathrobe and my little boner under the bathrobe and I'd open the bathrobe up and just point my boner at things and hope that things happened. I would surprise the world well, like with a my catch boner. Catch on fire or something? <laughs> like you point at a candle and just blow up? It was like testing the waters, like maybe if I pointed it at, at that and then I'd then open work. my bathrobe. That was a key, that you were trying to figure it out like what it did. Yeah, and I was so frustrated. I used to just rub my boner on things and that's I did that too. I used to like that fucking book. And I, I was a little pervert before I knew what sex was. I was a pervert, but I still didn't know what sex was. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. We were just both little fucking... And then when I found out what sex was, oh my god. That became me more of a pervert. Things got really, really bad, really quick. <laughs> really quick. Yeah, I used to fantasize, like, I had a really weird ones. Like, I had fantasized about, like, having x-ray glasses that I could see through only girls' clothes. <laughs> and going to school and be like, hey, hey, hey. 
No one knows. Did I tell you, you get a boner in school? Yeah. yeah. I used to get boners all the time in school, dude. Yeah. And I, I before, before, boners before I figured out about the waistband trick, I used to fucking pull my pockets up really high, but it just looked like I had a boner and I, I was holding my pockets when it looked horrible. And what, or I used to put books in front of my dick. Yeah, that worked all right. Some no, the waistband trick only works when you're wearing sweatpants, and then kids make fun of you because you're poor and can't afford jeans. You can do the sweat. You can do the waistband when you, you have jeans. Yeah, but you have to tuck it up under your jeans and your yeah, it belt. Yeah, it's kind of painful. It, but when it, it starts to descend, not if you have foreskin, baby. When it High five. To uh, That's bullshit. It still hurts when you mash it. No, it does it. not. No, it Your does wiener not. doesn't hurt when you mash it under a belt buckle and the belt foreskin, metal is... Foreskin dampens You the guys blow. are actually talking bullshit now unless the head of no. your dick is rubbing the waistline. Well, it's like, How it's short not, is your not, dick then? It's extra skin, dude. It's extra skin. It, it's not a it's layer of... It's a padding of protection. It is a layer of extra skin. It's armor for the dick, dude. Dude, my belt buckle's not rubbing up against my dick head. It's rubbing up against the, the, the middle of the shaft, shaft of my uh, dick. Yeah, that wouldn't really help. It helps me. You don't have an extra little layer over the actual skin. Leaner, you have dude. extra skin at the top where the helmet is. Yeah. Not where the sh not where the balls touch. That means you've touch. got a small dick because but the helmet's when your dick <laughs> points up, it means it only goes as far as the belt, which means your dick is Did small. Did you scientifically discover I have a small dick? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. We just, we just cracked the puzzle. It's when a, I get a good boner, job, team. Good job, Scooby-Doo crew. Small cool. dick Mary. I tuck my boner dick. behind my belt buckle. The head of my dick stops at my titties. When my, I used to go... So, sometimes I, it comes through my shirt and I have to like push it down. Can you titty wank yourself, Stamper? Huh? Can you titty wank yourself? Yeah, I could blow myself. Whoa, without without bending over. Well, sitting upright in a computer chair, I could blow yeah, myself. Standing up. <laughs> it's like playing the trombone when you're standing up. When I used to go to St. Peter's College at Wexford, uh, our school uniforms pants was like literally paper thin. It's like the, it's gray, itchy fucking yeah. paper. Yeah, all schools in Ireland have that for some reason. You see yeah. dudes running around with pee spots in their pants because they didn't shake their dicks off hard enough? Yep, you do. Way. Once I got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like how quick you answered that. was bold. <laughs> once you, uh, once I, got, I was at a urinal and uh, a guy like... Did I tell this before? No. I was, I was at a urinal in school and a guy pushed me while I was taking a piss. I got pissed all over my pants. And then he goes, ha ha. And then he goes, and then he goes, oh wait. And then he didn't tell anyone. I was, I was like, oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Wait, what? And he didn't tell anyone. He was like nice. He was like, oh shit, sorry. You got, you got. He goes, ha ha, you peed your pants, and just didn't. Like I thought he was going to tell everyone I peed Kids my pants. Kids in my school used to do this thing where they used to kick people while they were taking a piss. Yeah, yeah. You, at the and so, so, yeah, yeah. One of my friends said to me, so I got really mad. I took a bunch of paper towels and covered it in soap, and he was taking a shit. Like he walked in, <laughs> kicked my ass. Oh, we'd always do that. And, and, and he your walked, dick touches the urinal, right? No, no. I pee. When he walks, he kicks you in the ass. And you slam against the wall. The stall, I'm sorry, like like the urinal, and then he walked and took a shit. He sat in the stall and started taking a shit. I got furious, so I took a bunch of paper towels, covered it in soap, and started fucking yeah, pelting over over the top of the stall, and he started screaming. Do, do you ever get like a wet like bit yes. of tissue or toilet paper? And uh, just throw it on the ceiling, and it just goes. Whoop. We used to do that in school all the time. That's what babies do. <laughs> but fuck, I was gonna say, you know the paper thin pants. Yes. Yeah. They are you really. You know, have to clean that off. You're yeah, you're. Oh yeah, but this one I was a kid. I didn't even think. Those about paper thin that. pants are the worst at hiding boners. Like really bad. Like Chris, I, what's the worst? It shows boner, a complete uh, outline of your boner. They yeah. are bad. They are bad. You can see your but big balls. And also, like, do you guys like hate your? I, I really hate urinals. Like, I love urinals. I, I, I wish I, there was one in the fucking. I'm not afraid of showing my dick to people at urinals, but like I don't. I just don't like. I think they're grosser than. Toilets. Nah, urinals are convenient for me. I, I think they're like way them. more convenient. I, mo more often than not, I piss in the sink. I never get stage fright. They're like disgusting, though. I'm actually not joking. More often than not, I piss in the sink. That's I gross. wish I had a urinal. In, in, in the house we live in? What? Yeah. Do you wash your face in that sink? Yes. Welcome to P Town, <laughs> Niall. Oh, man. I'm gonna literally. Splash, splash. That's why your face smells like face. piss. Don't do that. I'm gonna dab my pee. Urinals are completely convenient. I don't like. like the, I don't like the ones like that drop to the, the floor. Though. You're pissing on the wall. Who's the Who's you that fucking guy who goes around spitting chewing gum in every single urinal in the country? Huh? That one fucking dude. He oh goes, yeah, chewy McGum. Yeah, he goes around spitting chewing gum in the urinals. It's a fucking. It's, is there really a guy that's doing that? It's a yeah. catastrophe. Do you not? Do you not see it? No. You want a urinal? There's always, there's, always a, there's always a bit of gun. gun. He's always. He's, he's always. Guy. Yeah, he's always on like, CNN, like with his Sasquatch photos, where he's leaving the. Yeah. When he's leaving the stall. So you one, know they conducted tests saying that if a guy has something to aim at, he'll always shoot his pee at that thing. Cigarette butts, chewing gum. Stamper. How much? What's the least amount you would want to chew some gum that's been in a urinal for a day? Huh? You, what's the least amount of money you would want to chew some gum that's been oh, in here? Oh, dude, I do that free. <laughs> really? Yeah. The stamper, I was next to Stamper with him. He said, free gum, and he picked it up and started chewing it. I guess. I said, pee gum. Chris, you know how you were talking Why about your dad walking up to you earlier in the pool and saying, hey, stop that? That was my dad, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
is it like if you ever how often does that happen to you where you're as you're coming somebody like is like hey they talk to you have you ever been it's, su- it's such a fucking like, oh, man. world breaking I've, experience I've been very very lucky to, that's never happened oh, to me oh god I got so lucky once. my very first lovely time one time I was when I was about 14 I was masturbating and the second I was coming my dad was like Zach and I was like oh no it was so <laughs> uncomfortable oh god because oh, I, like, I was like I was in that state of like yeah but he just called your name he didn't walk in yeah but I don't want his fucking name I don't want his voice in my ear while I'm coming and like I don't even need somebody to do that every now and again I'm, I'm in the wrong mindset and I'm jerking off and right Stamper. as I'm coming something comes into my head that I don't yeah. want to see oh yeah yeah Stamper, there, you don't, there's yeah. Been, sorry there's been a few times where I've been jerking off and my mom will like open the door to be like dinner's ready and she'll be looking at me and I'll have my big hair dick in my head and I'll be like okay yeah yeah, yeah. Like, that's how just close the door. Yeah. Oh man, if the- if your dad walking with his big hard dick in his head, he'd be like, Chris, mom said it's time for dinner. <laughs> My mom walks in with her big hard dick, dick in her head. <laughs> oh, she comes in and she says, dinner's ready, and then she comes Stop up fucking and around. She's a she's huge cock in her head. My cat walks by with his huge dick in his head. <laughs> like, once my parents left the house, and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have a big fucking butt naked wank today. When <laughs> you, get, you know when you just oh, get, you naked? get totally naked? Yeah, like, yeah. It's an event. And then, uh, so I, I turn on the porno. I fucking lay down in bed like this. I lay down on my bed. This is porno. So, it's not 1980 though. I rented a porn out today, honey. <laughs> no, no. There's porn. Like, What's okay, the alternative? Porn. 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 Is porn. No, why drop the old? Like, why, why even add the old? Like, porn. I'll tell you why. Okay, Zach, you add. The, you okay. know who says the old? Porn, porn guys is, with mustaches. Porn is the genre. Overs. Porn. Porn is the collection. Porno is a porno. I'm fine. One porno. I'm One porno. One porn. porn. It's like cactus and cacti. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Niall said porno, as in he's he's got a very specific porno in mind. And who the fuck are you, Zach? Oh yeah. fuck you! I bet you called pizza za and yeah. uh, pepperoni and you you and say mozzarella. hey guys we'll go up some go up some girls I say what's a girl you say hamburger you call strawberry strobs and blueberries bloobs yeah. you oh. told me that oh, are you exactly Stamper, are you a bloob and I thought guy? it was hilarious that you called blueberries bloobs are you a bloob guy <laughs> what are you a bloob guy I'm, I'm a bloobs blood guy <laughs> what. But anyway, so butt like, naked wank. Oh yeah. So like I laid down and got ready for a big a butt naked wank. For those of you who don't know, is where you eat a hot pocket first to get your energy up, yep. and then all the grease that's on your fingers, you don't even give a shit. You yep. just rub it on your body because you're gonna go into your yep. room. You're just a mess at this stage. You don't care how you're, perv- you're like. I'm the biggest feelings. perv in the world right now. Yeah. You're like I love being a fucking dirty perv. And, and every porno you look up, yeah, they're they're just more. It's not good enough. Yeah. You find yeah. another one. Yeah. Like it has to be something. Actually, that's something that happened to me. Every porno I watch now. Has to be or porn has to be slightly weird or, in a way. Like there has to be something weird going on in it. Like I don't know. We're so spoiled nowadays. I know. I remember when when porno first. I was like, wow, you there's porno on the internet. I used to jerk off to ads because it took so long yeah. to download stuff. There would just be a and girl was, in an ad with the kids out. Like, that whatever, was fine. Yeah, I would do. jerk off to the advertisement, the Dude, banner, I, literally I, the banner ad. I would jerk. I off saw to I it. saw one uh, porn video a couple days ago. That I actually was just disgusted by. At first, I was like interested by it. It was this girl sucking a dick, and I was like, "Yeah, I could, I could dig this." <laughs> but then she took her nipple and put it in his dick hole, and I got so repulsed. <laughs> like that is completely true. I'll show you the is fucking that even video. Possible? Yes, big dick hole, small nipple. I don't know. They figured it out. She's, they, they just, they, she's, they she, kind of... she started bringing her titty up to the dick, and I was like, "Yeah." And then she went, "Ah." You know what? And I, I, I recoiled Did back I, and closed down. Exactly. That, that's not something you randomly stumble on. You're the it was called person. Blowjob Thank video. You. I said, wow. Yeah, bullshit. You oh, Zach, were looking yeah, for all kinds. I'll show you Wait, the Zach, video. Zach, you're well Whatever, at- Mr. Goldfish, pitcher. Zach- oh, I hit it. What? You're into the blobs, right? I the never blobs. stumble on shit like that when I'm looking for porno. You were looking for something really sadistic. I've been watching porn for like the last 10 years completely innocently. What'd you search for, baby boy? The local to, job. To find dick. Dick gets up. You got that's nipples dick, going inside dick, dick holes. That's bullshit. Bullshit. I call no. it bullshit. However, my story anyway. Then she anyway. stuck the whole titty in the dick hole. Go now. Li- lying in bed, butt naked <laughs> wank, okay? Okay. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. I, I, I go like, I just go on for fucking an hour. I'm like, yeah! And then I uh, just come everywhere. And then, uh, what you call it? Literally just as I turned it off. Like, I keep in mind, I was lying in my bed facing the door. Then I, got, I just got dressed really fast. And the second I had my pants like zipped up, my dad just opened my door really fast. And I was like, holy What did he say to you? No, I, I smell cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that was. Oh my god! I just gross. remember. I thought I never got caught jerking off before. Oh, I got hard. caught in the aftermath of jerking off once. I, I was watching scrambled porno on TV. You know how you have scrambled porno yeah. channels and you get that gross like green thing. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Green thing? What? 
Like we have like scr- like because you didn't pay for the channel, it's like scrambled porno on TV. So if you pay, you could hear sound kind of. Oh shit! But I was jerking off the scrambled porno. <laughs> you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. No, but I, I'm intrigued. Damn it! But I fell asleep on the Lazy Boy in my living room, and my dick was hanging out of my zipper. And my dad came home <laughs> while I was sleeping, and he came up. And he put his hand on my shoulder, and he was like, son, you fell asleep on the couch. And I was like, what are you doing here, Dad? And I took my dick back into my pants. <laughs> there is no hiding that. He just wanted me to get up and go to sleep. That was embarrassing. Have you ever, um, have you ever had one of those wanks that, like, literally lasts, like, three hours? Yeah, and you're just, like, oh, and you're, yeah, you're just so, you're, 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 like, so horny, and your, like, dick Frustrated. is, like, literally, like, just pissing lube, and you're just like, oh, this is the best. And then the second you come, you're like, that was the biggest waste he, of my life. Yeah, that and, was, I, and I, I feel like such stupid. a perv. You, know, you just feel like an idiot. I'm not a Every Christian time I Bella. finish coming, I feel like an idiot. Yeah. Because I'm always only... watching the most depraved shit, and then when I'm done doing it, I'm looking at what the girl's actually doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And her intestines are hanging out, and I'm like, <laughs> ah! And, and as I'm coming, I'm like blocking the vision of the screen with my hand. Yes, no, so, sometimes, like, I've, I've, I've been a little bit more into the facials. Here's an update for you, folks. Who've been listening. <laughs> I'm a little bit more into the facials I now. fucking told you. You fucking gave me shit for that. I did. I'm sli- I'm 2% more into it. But you every like time. Facials? Yeah, he loves that. You know? I'm, no, 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 I said I hated it before. I'm 2% more into it. I, oh, no, I won't turn no, it off. No, you no, no. You can't be just 2%. No, he's bullshit. You're 25 he Bullshit. He told no. me like a year ago that he loves blowjobs. Like, I do love blowjobs. Uh, pornos. Like... I don't like facials though. I love oh, facials. But so my point is, before, oh, okay, before, sorry, before, I before I would close the video out if if I should facial. But now, anyway, I but I still. Understand how people jerk off the blowjob videos. Yeah. I'll never understand that. Yeah, you fucking too. you lick on asshole stamper. It needs yeah. to. You lick a big brown puppy. <laughs> you, you don't get to ask that question. It needs. To that's have... where your wiener goes. It needs. It needs. It needs to have an asshole before I come. I think. Like I can't. I can't really come. Now, whenever I see a girl's asshole, I go put some. Pants you guys are literally it. like it has to be the dirtiest, yeah, dirtiest it hole. Does, it does. Shit must come from it for me to come. Yeah. What? Nobody said that. <laughs> That's what an asshole is. Yeah, no, you can, you can it's the it. most forbidden part of a girl. It's because body. shit comes there. And when and when she grants you access to that, yeah, I, I derive a lot of pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's, doing that's fucking how I evil feel. Hands. That's how I feel with facials because it's like if a girl lets you facial on her, she'll pretty much do anything. Every yeah, girl but, will let you facial. No, on they her. will not. My, my yes, problem, they will. No. My problem oh. is the facial It'll still look pleasant. I'm, st- I'm still cringy, like wincing, <laughs> like oh yeah, you know. Well, that's not the same thing as permission. Stay tuned, feminists. There'll be more talk. This is borderline misogyny. <laughs> this is the patriarchy at work. Is it misogynistic to talk about to sex come on a in girl? general? Wait, yeah, no. it's misogynistic had... to wear men's clothes. No, if listen. You're a man. Zach had the most like intri- point that blew my mind the other day. He's like, feminists are so far left that they're gone right again. Like feminists, like they were so, somebody, somebody left and right means. Somebody, man. somebody posted. Uh, I, I got this a couple of times. Somebody posted something called the horseshoe theory, which is the far left and the far right are actually closer than the than the modern it's, it's left. It's so true right. because like some feminists will be like, don't. Degrade girls by letting us bend over and uh, do a doggy style because doggy styles for animals. But then, like, what I what I don't get is it's up to the girl. Then the whole the whole whole, like I thought the whole seventies like feminist thing was like fuck you, don't tell us what to wear, they're naked with their titties out. But now it's the exact opposite. Now it's like you can't show a fictional character with boobs. They have to have small breasts and a, a. Chubby body. It's like, uh, and that's like what the fifties patriarchy were saying. Like, yeah, it's like that's what like fifties actual misogynist yeah, assholes were saying. It, it's so don't show your ankles, slut, you dumb whore. Don't show your ankles, bitch. I'll tell you one thing. Every weird, depraved thing I've ever done to another female was done because she asked me to do it. Or you I'm asked, always you really asked bashful. I don't want to do things. You are bashful. Oh, I'm, bashful. I'm, 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 I'm just kind of afraid to ask for like really, really like. I, well, it's not really. I never really do really bad shit, but I'm afraid to kind of ask for like. I don't even want to ask about things. Yeah, I don't ask. I don't really Here's ask. Women like pulled me into the void of despair a long time I, ago. I just do. I don't ask. Here's what I do. Don't fire at me. Here it comes. Huh, can, I, can I come on you? Thanks. Oh, man. <laughs> you bent over right on Chris's face and thought you were going to fire Squirt! Squirt, squirt! Ah, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me pull up this porno I saw the other day. Wait one second. Could look, look. Ah, uh, my pussy is so wet. Uh, I'm, I'm here to fix your sink. Um. Oh, fix my pussy with your dick. Okay. Oh, here, here, here let me spread my legs for you. What, what appears to be the problem, ma'am? My pussy does, it has a severe lack of dick. <laughs> Can you fix that, sir? Yeah. Okay, I'm fucking you now. Uh-huh, I don't uh, want to help, rape! Uh, rape! Hey, no, that was stupid. 
No, yeah, I don't, no, that I don't was know the point you... of me pulling it up. I, th- I thought it was pretty That's odd. just disrespectful to the audience, though. You know something? <laughs> oh, says the guy who says he wants to shower a girl's face with his semen. Okay. <laughs> and? Yeah. Yeah. How's that not disrespectful? You said you want to make a Gandalf beard with your semen on a girl. Unless you're... I didn't say I wanted to. I said I did. Oh. Well, then you had your dreams accomplished. <laughs> That's why I call my balls Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was why? Because it's a hobbit size? <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> it's like a little bag. Two little Bilbo inside. Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Baggins. <laughs> they live in Bag End. <laughs> Golf's my dick. Yes. Pretty good joke. It's nothing. Bill Ball Baggins. <laughs> Have you ever fucked... Stamper, here's two question. Mm-hmm. Have you ever fucked a swamp ass? No. What, it, what do you think it would be like? Do you think it would hurt or do you think it would be warmer? There'd be a guy playing a banjo on a little boat inside. <laughs> cover, you don't come around here often. <laughs> Never seen you here before. So you pull out real quick. You come over to my house with some gumbo. Ah. I, didn't even, I didn't even get the swamp joke until just now. It was just funny just thinking of a little guy swimming around the swamp. He's playing the fucking banjo. <laughs> Watch out for gators. <laughs> <laughs> It was way funnier when the, the actual swamp. There's there. a sinkhole here. Watch out. Well, just for gators. I bet you can fuck your own ass. Ugh. I bet you've got one of those gross fucking bendy dicks. I do have a bendy dick. Well, did you fuck your a ass? A boomerang dick? No. Well, you, you, you have a boomerang or a coat hanger, Rack? Where it's like, is it, is it a slight, like a banana curve or is it like a fucking 90 degree angle? Mine slightly curves upwards. Okay, but, but I mean, is it like I have a, a banana wiener? Okay, okay. Mine kind of swings the left a little bit. Mine swings the left too. Yeah. But not that much. Like, yeah, like mine is resting like right like here. 10%. Mine points where the pussy's at, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Mecca. <laughs> beep, points, beep, if there's beep. a pussy right behind you, though. This is a close hit, then it goes up. It would like it would roll into itself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're like bends back behind your legs and pokes it underneath your asshole. And you're like, oh god! <laughs> Get out of here! It points to the closest girl. Why is it pointing at me? It points to the closest <laughs> butt, sorry. You ever um seen those pornos where there's a girl standing on a landmine and she can't move? <laughs> <laughs> because the guy just walks over and comes on her and walks away. The landmine, the trigger clicked, but she can't lift her leg up or, or she'll explode. So the guy comes up and just comes on her. Is that a real point? And he walks through, like comes on her leg and just leaves. And she can't move, so she just stands there and she's mad. Like, that guy, come on me! That guy don't likes the on. fucking danger, because... Never mind, her life is in danger, but she's just mad that... Yeah, but that guy's me. life is also in danger. Dude, it's so awesome. She should. Ki- she could kill both of them. I'm not, dude, it is so it's so hot, dude. It is so fucking what? hot. It's so hot, and the bonus is that is a form of rape. If they do blow their legs off, you get amputee porn. It's a double. It's a win-win. Holy I know. They pl- they get- he blows her legs off. He blows his leg. Dick. He blows I- his dick off. I once all saw over this. Leg. I once saw this midget porn where they were all bouncing on the bed having a pillow fight, and it was so fucking funny. And then they all started like getting dildos and fucking each other. Yeah, I don't know why it was so funny, but like. They were like having, they were having such a great time. It was just a bunch of midgets. Is it and they were like, slur? Or, or sorry, little people, and they're all just, they're all just jumping on the bed, like laughing and having the most like best time ever. And then they all just started fucking. I was just like, I was like, I wonder what I was doing at that exact moment when this was happening. Like, was I, I don't know, at, school, at work or at school? Walking around while he's oh, walking around. And, like, could that be going on right now? Of oh, course. It's... There's horrible things going on right this second. Somebody's getting their head sawed off. Yeah, in, in Brazil right now. Right now. Stamper, have you ever heard of the site Chatterbait? Yeah. I love Chatterbait. I know, you told me about it. Yeah. You look at that Cosplay Carrie on that. Yeah, but that's the only because it's funny. There's a girl on Chatterbait called Cosplay Carrie, where she dresses up as Harley Quinn and, and fucks her boyfriend just as the Joker, and she gets so into character. She's like, Oh, Mr. She's so J, good. put your she's dick so in funny. my pussy! She's actually hilarious. She's, and then, she's like the funniest woman in the world. And the guy dresses up as like Ronald McDonald sometimes and fucks her, <laughs> yeah. while she's like, <laughs> while she's dressed as someone from Resident Evil, and they're just having such a good time. Yeah, they, they like, they seriously just... They're just having a funny time. They're like, they're not taking it. Or dude, she's gonna be in Disney World when I'm in Disney World. No, I'm not gonna fuck her, obviously. But I'll no, definitely, meet her. Though. I'll definitely get like a, her autograph or a picture with her or something. Ah, oh, Mr. J, spit in my cunt. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> He's like, just as like Ronald McDonald. Sweet. But then now sent me that, and we were both watching it. We were like, <laughs> oh, so fucking funny. I then saw, we got I saw like Mario fucking Yoshi or something. It really bothered me. <laughs> 
Only because it's incorrect. I was like, that would, that would. You never. guys ever seen that ET porn? Yeah. Yeah. It's creepy. ET <laughs> with yeah. his fucking finger. It's so funny. If someone dressed up a girl as ET, like a uh, big, she has the texture of like feces. She looks like big shit. Like, yeah, big ET's big, on top. Big the guy's just like fucking her. It's like the grossest thing. Oh, seen. I saw another one where a girl was blowing ET. It was <laughs> the funniest thing. <laughs> You ever see the, the, the American Dad one where Roger looks so creepy? Yeah. He's like those disgusting, like, uh, those ping pong ball eyes. Mm. He's horrible looking. You ever see the fucking Simpsons porn where Homer's impression is pretty spot on? It's pretty good. Mm. It's the same cast in all of those porn parodies. Really? Yeah, James Dean, that fucking chick. Or all those chicks. They're all the same. The Scrubs porno is actually funnier than the fucking thing. I, I tweeted that, like, a couple weeks ago. But I was watching it, and it's actually funnier than the show. Yeah, none of those are really badly written for the most part, which is surprising. You'd expect them to be hard, but you yeah. kind of like get a chuckle out of them. It's one of the only ways porn industry can make money these days now. Is porn parodies? Yeah, selling parodies, because it's so easily accessible. I saw a Back to the Future porno once, and Marty was like an Indian dude. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. You remember that? He's like, Marty, you gotta come back to me. You gotta fuck your mother. He's like, He's like, weird. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. I'd rather to send it past. I want to just stay in my... I do not want to. I want to work at Sabaru Labu. <laughs> <laughs> I will save this pack of gum. This ain't racist at all, right? But oh, it, it is... That oh, one. It, no, oh. no, it's extremely true that every single time I go to a 7-Eleven, it's an Indian guy. What, what's with that? And Dunkin' Donuts as well. Yeah. Well, what's I don't with that? It either, yeah. uh, That's not racist. It's true. You I think, I think literally, you there walk into a Seven Eleven right now. It's store, an Indian guy. Any convenience store that isn't a chain, really, yeah. uh, except for Seven Eleven. I just figured like one dude came over from India and he hooked <laughs> up a Seven Eleven, and then he started getting all his friends over, and they never broke the chain. <laughs> you know, buy your friends over every. Stabber, I, I have a story. Well, it's not a great one, but uh, there's okay. You know the you know the gas station beside our house, the one that's kind of convenient to go get like a drink or cigarette or something like you can just go in and get stuff yeah the one that's near our house you know the guy who works there yeah he's a he's a cranky cunt he's right? a dickhead he's, he's such a dickhead he always has his face on and I was like there's I'm, two guys that work there is a chubby Indian guy no no he's, he's the dude who always looks like his son died that he day looks oh, like he looks sport. like an Easter yeah he's, he's a Easter fucking Island dick statue. once yeah. once he was like uh, once he was like to me he was like he was just standing cleaning the floors and there was no other cashier and I was standing at the thing and he was just looking at me but anyway I was like it's my goal to make this guy laugh like by, before I move out I just want to make this guy laugh just to see if I can because like it, it's a challenge and I couldn't do it every time I went in I'd always try to make him laugh and he would what never do why don't you just buy things from him and leave like normal people why are you trying to <laughs> because he's such laugh? a fucking dick it's not a fucking Robin Williams movie dude you're not gonna like engage this guy you're gonna break through to him <laughs> but listen, it's just cold man it was just, a, it was just a challenge that's all it was it's just well, a stupid give, thing me, give me an example give me an it's, example it's, it's, it's I'll, be the, I'll be the Indian guy you, you told me I when, when come no, no, he wouldn't even say he that. He doesn't say a word, yeah, dude. Okay, fine, let's, let's, let's... That's why it was even more of a let's challenge. Okay, okay, think that you walk in. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Would you walk up to him like, Can I have some cigarettes? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> no, yeah, I, 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 do, I do an Arnold impression or something, try and make him laugh. Yeah, no, that's funny. Uh, what, what did you add? What have you actually done so far? I'm curious, No, though. because no, I'm not, I didn't finish my story yet. All right, so, th okay, I, I, tr I, I went in, I tried to just make small talk and stuff, and I was like, damn, I'm getting nowhere here. And then uh, one day... Me and Shad walked down there, right? And Shad was looking like the fucking uni bomber. He was wearing he was wearing sunglasses, a scarf covering his mouth and stuff. And Shad, we both walk in, and Shad goes, "I'm not armed, I swear." And then the guy just goes, "Ha ha ha ha!" I was like, "Dude, that's the fucking last thing I think of to try and make this guy laugh." And Shad did it in one goddamn. All it took was fucking off. horribly offensive yeah. racism. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's beautiful. That's human right there. Yeah, but I was still happy that the guy laughed. But Shad walked in that place one time, and he looked at the guy. And he's like, "Does this place get rubbed off?" Me? And the guy really? was like, excuse me? Yeah, then he just Shad reached in his fucking big leather jacket and pulled out his card really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Shad, you're a fool. Jesus Christ. Shad is mysterious, Sweet, man. dude. That's yeah. scary. What if the guy fucking blew his head off? I know, because he was, Shad was like, he, that, that's exactly the event of, ha if, like, events in order. What happened? Oh, but the time yeah. me and Shad went there, there was this old man sitting on a chair, this old white guy, right? And this is just when Stamper said, white guys, white people complain all the time. I was, it was kind of in my head, right? So we walked to that shop, and uh, this Indian guy, uh, Shad made the, the Indian guy laugh. I was like, okay. And then the, the, this fat white old guy was sitting on a chair, and he was going, takes a long time to clean this place. And it was a, this tiny little 4x4 four four fucking shop, and he was like, yeah, we have to replace the refrigerators. And Chad was kind of like looking at him really weird. He was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's cold outside now. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. White people do complain all the time. That story was going nowhere. I just wanted to kind of clarify. They point. do. Every... White people bitch about everything all day for no reason, My and every other cold. every other person on the face of the planet keeps their mouth shut and dies silently, regardless of yeah. how pissed off they are. Yeah. So 
You ever get into an Irish taxi? Yeah, that's the small talk capital of the world. Like, how was the? Oh, it's raining outside. Yeah, like wow. Oh, that's Chris, really you, you so and I, awful. you and I took a Isn't taxi down to that shop. There? Yeah, <laughs> what? You, exactly. You, you and I took a taxi taxi down to that little uh, like down. It was to some place. I forgot what it was. But yeah, he would not stop. He was like, "It's raining today." You're like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, you from around here?" You're like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, what do you do?" You're like, "I'm the animator." He's like, "Oh." Like Disney, you're like, yeah. <laughs> it's what, all like that, it was like, dude, nobody I, wants to... I used to always fabricate stories of those In America, guys. you get into a taxi, everyone shuts up, but in Ireland, it, you cannot, you have to talk to the driver, or else you're yeah, weird. Yes. Or else you're, you're weird. Yeah, yeah, well, he's bored, but they always kind of do seem like they're they're interested, but in a weird way, it's like... No, but it's always like, oh, it's raining again. It's like, yeah, that's great. It's the 50 millionth time I've heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, oh, so, so what do you do? And you're just like, yeah, whatever, I, I do this. But like, I used to kind of fabricate stories to them, because I was just bored of saying the same shit all the time and I remember I can't remember what I said I remember saying I was a doctor one stage and then getting caught out by the same guy by saying something else I didn't realize it was the same guy he was bringing me home and he remembered me so you were a liar and then you got busted for lying yeah pretty much I, I was, like, you fault. know that whole weather spiel yeah so you was what are we I've heard that so many times I almost feel like it's an insult at this stage yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. how's the that? weather have you seen yeah. the weather if if someone says that to me it's like it's almost like yeah I'm not interested I just need to get your talk yeah. out of the way before I leave it's yeah like, yeah bring up the exactly. weather is the death sentence for eight yeah. Like as Unless there's a fucking that. tornado. If you're in the same area with somebody, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, did so... you did you look up today? Did you did yeah. you yeah. your fucking no, sorry, hands sorry. They're not asking how's weather. They're saying, oh, no, no, but but bring up oh, the weather period. Cold. It's like, uh, yeah, we we'll get the weather today. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like that's, outside. Yeah, that's yeah, the last all. thing I care about. I honestly couldn't give it's one really shit. Cold but it's not just that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, no shit. It's why everyone's wearing coats. Yeah, that's what they do. They do variations like, oh, it's cold or like. It's November. Yeah, yeah, no shit. This happens every year. You're 50. You should have seen this at least 50 times by now. That guy used to deliver us pizzas. It was fucking clockwork. Oh God, this guy, right? This guy, he has no excuse because he was in his early 20s right yeah, and every day, age. Just, he was our age and he come to the door and he call and he just be like lovely weather isn't it it was Chris the same was, sentence the every, same sentence lovely every, weather is it yeah yeah no nah, the weather or, or the weather fucking shit, time and we ordered eat your pizza mad we ordered a shit ton of pizzas Chris did eat, eat his pizza mad we ordered a it. fucking pizza every week and it was always that guy it was always Lovely weather, isn't it? It's like, fuck you! I hate that! And then there's this really idiot old guy. Oh, he was cool. always fuck up, but he was so was nice. He's trying to bond with you? Then? No, he's not. That's my point. They're not trying to bond with you. They're trying to get out of there, and they're trying to say something just to make them seem nice, but it just makes them seem fucking rude almost yeah. at this stage. What else are they going to say? Here's, Here's your pizza. Enjoy Here's your it. Pizza. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Easy. Oh, Snapper was a pizza man. He probably asked people what the, about the weather. Oh, no. Oh, poor never, baby. Oh, Snapper. The poor baby. I'm sorry, Snapper. <laughs> I never asked anybody about the weather. Oh. Good. But I'm awkward when I, when I try to meet regular customers and stuff. I never know what to say. That's what I mean. To Snapper, I have another tip story, right? You know the way... What was know? the first story? The, the Arab story with the white guy? You said, you said, oh, like, yeah, there was no ending to that story. That, that was, the, I you just said, want... white guys complain a lot. Yeah, oh, yeah, but that, and then you say, and you said, that's on, a small thing. And then you, on the previous podcast, Snapper was talking about white people. Complain no, I know that. So I have no problem with oh, that. Oh, is that the end of the story? There was one yeah. time I went to that gas station and I left my keys there and I left town for like three weeks and then I went back and he was like, here's your keys, my friend. <laughs> So I love that guy. You know, you know that you know the way you were saying tipping people. Like I always tip people really well now, right? Uh, there's this one guy who came here once, and I tipped him like way over tipped him. I tipped him like ten bucks or something for a pizza, and he was so grateful. And uh, the other day at the house, this wasn't even at the office. I ordered a pizza, and I tipped him nicely too uh, online. Same guy. Yeah, and he forgot my drink. Actually, my drink wasn't billed or whatever. And then he goes, "You always tip me really well. I'm gonna go back and give you a free drink." And I was like. Dude, you would be surprised you, what, what tipping well does. Yeah. There was that one time we were all at the house and we tipped the guy like 10 bucks and then I called him back because it wasn't enough pizza and then he brought the order uh, back over to the house and he was like, oh, it's on the house. Yeah, this guy gave me, yeah, he gave me like an on the house thing too. I was like, dude, like tipping people well always pays off. Sure. Even when I'm poor as fuck, which I am. You said when you tip a bitch at IHOP. Oh, oh yeah, well that IHOP fucking... is a different story. <laughs> that IHOP is a different story. Let me tell you about IHOP. <laughs> fuck IHOP. Yeah. yeah. Explain why. If you want bad service. Sapper left his code at IHOP like a jackass and they stole it. They stole his money on the yeah. inside. The end. I was fucking robbed at IHOP. Fuck that. And then didn't you complain? They were like, sorry, we can't find your money. <laughs> yeah, they have fucking cameras everywhere at IHOP. Can I just say like, one thing about that IHOP? They what? segregate blacks from whites. This is true. This is There's true. There's an IHOP in Abington, Pennsylvania, where every time we where go there. I was there, fucking robbed. Yeah. The same, the same, the very same IHOP that Stamp was robbed at. They have a left aisle, a middle aisle, and a left or right aisle. They, well, this has happened at least ten times. We've gone there. The left aisle has been completely filled with blacks, black people, and black people. <laughs> 
What? It wasn't Blacks. 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 And the middle was filled with whites. White people. Now, whites. there have been a couple of times <laughs> where like, the left... Whites. <laughs> whites. <laughs> Bling. But there have been a couple of times where the left oh, aisle has not... Did you just conjure been... up a butterfly? Yes. There have been a couple of times where the left aisle has not been filled at all with Blacks. Where it's been like half full or a third full or like one tenth full. Mm. But it's still like one black person in the left aisle, one white person in the middle aisle. It's, yeah. it's baffling. It's, it's happened weird. so many times. I don't get it. Like, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. It's just weird. It's not even offensive. It's just like, what? It's bizarre. Are they afraid they're going to catch on white diseases? We're going to plague them? I'll be damned if I eat breakfast next to a nigga. This has been Sleepy Cast. You've been listening to Stamper, uh-huh. Nile, what? Zach, and Chris. Yeah, you know. If you'd like to send us stuff, send it to our P.O. Box listed in the description. You can also donate to our Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash Sleepy Cabin. Yeah. Well, that's enough gay shit for me. Tune in next week. Stamper licks on a stinking asshole. Holy fuck!